hiking the coast of Lake Superior. The trail's just inside the bush there, but you get lots of access to the beach. So I'll be going down around that corner and camping somewhere down there or up inland in an inland lake. I'm not sure yet. Beautiful day. We get some nice stands of cedar in the park. The lake is just down there, but this is on a slope and there's probably a, a bit of a seepage and the cedar do well there. So these can, these are really tall, straight, beautiful cedar. They can hang in for a long time. In the understory, a lot of balsam fir. There'll be some cedar down there as well. So the next generation uh, so far looks like balsam fir, but these cedar will, will keep going and going and going. Here's a couple of old timer cedar trees. Give you an idea of the size. It's a pretty big cedar tree for these parts. Well, it's quarter to five, and uh, I had initially planned to continue on hiking up this trail. I'm at a T intersection here, and another two and a half K is an interior lake that I was going to camp at. But I'm a little tired, got a late start, and uh, it's quarter to five, so I think I'm going to pull into this campsite here. Now, this is a uh, at a T intersection of the trail that continues around the Sleeping Giant that way. I've come from this way here and it's as you can see it's a it's a well used site which I wanted to avoid. I like bush sites better. I mean well this is in the bush but I mean more uh, remote sites. Again I guess this is sort of remote. It's right on the shoreline easy water supply. Uh, it's got the benches from the driftwood planks people have made. I found a place over there for my hammock and I found some trees that I can rig a bear rope for my food. And I guess I'm lazy but uh, I think I'm gonna grab this site. Got my hammock set up. Hammock is a war bonnet blackbird with a, a war bonnet superfly on it and the under quilt is a perfect trees three-quarter crow's nest the company name has now changed to I think hammockgear.com
not working. There, that's better. I fixed the stick. This one's boiling already. For tonight's one pot dinner, I have dried chicken and rice and dried olives, dried onions and dried mushrooms and I'll just pop that all in and uh, put about 30 to 40 mils of olive oil in there. Oh, there's also garlic in here and uh, I have Tex-Mex seasoning which I'll add right at the end. Really good. Let's take a look at that chicken and rice. Looking good. I got it off on the side of the fire there on my pot hanger. And uh, yeah, it's just good to simmer and absorb the last of the water. This pot hanger is just in a, a, a Y stick that I pounded in and it's just loose on the end and I can move the whole thing forward and backward depending on how I want to hang the pots. And here we go, we're done. Chicken and rice and that red color that you see is I stirred in some Tex-Mex seasoning at the end there. We got uh, dried olives, dried mushrooms, dried onions. It's really great having these lids with handles because you can eat right out of them. In northwestern Ontario we have a lot of black bears. They're just everywhere including this park. So you gotta hang your food if you're hiking. Simple technique, you uh, find a stick, throw, tie it to a rope, throw it over crotch of a tree, find another crotch of a tree and uh, Oyster up. Well, not a bad choice after all. I have beautiful weather. I get to listen to the waves all evening. It's calming down, but there'll still be waves. You can see the black flies flying in front of the, the camera there. The black flies got really bad this afternoon. I had to put on the bug dope around the neck and the uh, face. Wearing long sleeves here. I had the sleeves rolled up during the day. Lake Superior, biggest lake in the world. Uh, happily ensconced in my hammock tonight. Days are long, it's about 9.30 right now, sun's still up. Warbonnet Blackbird, there's the foot box area 
down there. It's kind of warm right now, so I'm on top of the bag. I don't have a top quilt yet, so still using a sleeping bag. Yeah, so it's been a good day hiking Sleeping Giant Provincial Park. I didn't get quite as far as I wanted to, but I got a good camp. Black flies are pretty bad today. A few are inside the hammock here, but when black flies get inside, they uh, they they turn off. They they don't bite you. There's probably a few mosquitoes in here that I have to kill. I'm just starting hammocking, and I've learned that you got to have a tether on your pillow, otherwise it slides down underneath you every time you move. So that's a modification I got to do to uh, tether this pillow up to the the top of the hammock. So we'll see what tomorrow brings. It's supposed to be good weather. Hopefully a bear won't eat me tonight. There's bears all over the place in this park. Food is hung. Kept a really clean kitchen area around the fire. So hopefully you should be okay. See you tomorrow.